Hey, 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 everybody, Michelle is back. I, had, I took a break. Uh, this is uh, November the 8th, 2024, on a Friday. So I took a little break before I got back to these video series. Uh, the enemy within is a fool within. Okay. And this is going to be video four. Video four, or part four. <sighs> breathe. That's why I want to start out is breathe make sure you're grounding yourself in reality meaning you're i prefer you know if you could be barefoot but you you know so that you can know what surface you're step what surface you're on you know get the temperature cool you know it's a little cool in here i got my got my sweater on i feel a little comfortable I'm, i you know i uh had something to eat something to snack on something to drink i'll probably get up and get something to drink again but again, it's a little nippy in here. I think it says it's 64 degrees outside. So I'm not really sure wh what the temperature is in here. So I want to get back to part four of um, of this video series that I want to put out. And I say I want to put it out before January, before changing up the guards, in hopes of uh, reaching some people to kind of snap out of it, snap out, snap out of the manipulation, the deception, the indoctrination that you are under, that you've been under for, I think all of us for, for our whole lives, including our parents, our grandparents and blah, 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 blah. It goes on and on and on and on. And ah, I feel fresh and clean, clean, ah, smell good. Like I know it should, you know, so my knees are met. So, and I feel joyful and enthusiastic more than ever despite what's going to happen or what's happening or what we're facing or what will we will be facing and blah, 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 blah. Uh, the last video I talked about, you know, the enemy within, um, you know, and how, uh, you know, a certain song resonated with me as a young woman and helped develop me and helped me to cultivate and contemplate and have life experiences that, you know, have shaped my life. And, um, and I wouldn't change a thing at all, you know, even though there were some struggles, just, you know, I went through everything that all of us ought to go through during our adolescence and as our young ages, you know, experience life. Don't go out there and intentionally, you know, harm yourself, but, you know, experience life. And it doesn't mean substance or liquor and alcohol or marijuana or weed or whatever drugs, prescription, or otherwise. I'm not saying that you need to uh, participate in that type of behavior because if you do, you know, you. I mean, I can guarantee you if you do and if you are, you know, you, you're not going to escape. And what does that mean? You're not going to escape this, uh, this, this spin if you're in that. So you might as well just, you know, might as well just move on, you know, in, in listening to this because you're not, you're not going to resonate and you're not going to want to. These substances that are out there, you know, especially alcohol, you know, a lot of people talk about weed and talk about, but especially alcohol, you know, um, you know, people will lay their line, lay their lives on the line for the alcohol. And I don't want to in, in, infringe on that for, for, but you know, at all, that's your choice. You have free will. And that's the wonderful and, and fascinating thing about free will. You know, Hey, if you want to drink alcohol, drink alcohol. If you want to smoke weed, smoke weed. I've experienced, um, I experienced uh, smoking weed back when I was in my teens and it did nothing for me. You know, I had no, uh, no pull to it. I have tried the, um, you know, the, the condensed versions of certain, uh, like the gummies and I, you know, and the, um, was it C, B, D or something, you know, whatever that is. I've experienced, you know, I've used that, you know, and it hasn't really, it didn't bring any you know, I didn't, I didn't feel any benefits from it. So I stopped using it, you know, every now and then I'll use some of the oil just because, uh, but anyway, uh, as I've said in on several videos, we're reaching a culmination point, you know, the dawning of the age of Aquarius on February 3rd, 2029. And I told you that's a significant cosmic event. And so, and for some people, it will be eventful, and for some, it won't, will not be. But one thing we are not going to be able to control is the effects of that on our consciousness. 
okay? Because we're part of we're a part of this cosmic event, whether we want to, whether we consider it eventful or not, we're part of it. You know, we're a part of this planet. We're attached to this planet. We belong to this planet. We're a part of this planet. So certain things are just you're just not going to get away from the reality of certain things, and unfortunately, and sadly, a lot of us have experienced the more severe case of the ne the negative criminal energy that is encased around this planet. And sadly, uh, a lot of us are not gonna. I mean, there's not a is there's not anything that we can do to uh, curve that criminal energy unless we all collectively join together and and decide to do so and and and, and if you're being realistic we can barely you know handle an election do you believe because it will it would be a belief that we can all come together collectively all nine ten billion of us all come together collectively and 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 Meditate on peace and love and freedom, harmony, abundance, intimacy, wisdom, and truth. Come on. When we can barely uh, agree on, you know, what to eat versus what not to eat, what to drink versus what not to drink, what to wear versus, you know, when we can barely, you know, agree on those things. A lot of us know that there's that some some people are just lost forever, and and I mean that literally, figuratively, and metaphorically. Okay. Um I talked about um the main thing I want to get across is you know I want to I want to uh, express my uh love and compassion to the young people, you know, because you know you're going to be reaping a lot of this the descendants especially. You're going to really be reaping uh these the effects of 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 the you know of the actions of your ancestors which we are ancestors to the descendants and then we had our ancestors whereas we are descendants to you know i mean we all ought to understand that so it's like we just you know we just we just fall through you know and not necessarily thinking properly about what we're doing and more so who we are what we are and why we are a lot of us, you know, I told you, you know, when we come into this world, you know, we put we we are put in an environment where, you know, we have to as they say sink or swim, swim or sink, whatever you want to do to you know to survive it, you know. And so I told you, you know, you um uh, thankfully my parent, my mother and father, you know, uh set the environment to where I could develop myself. Uh, there was no, and there was no more uh, chaos in, in in any family, but some people, you know, have experienced so many uh, devastating things in their lives, and and a lot of us are still healing from that. You know, a lot of us are like, uh, you know, in my age range, you know, the fifties, sixties, the forties, fifties, and sixties. You know that that that's that range I'm talking to, but the forties and under. You know, you you know, you're you're more so like the descendants of the of the you know of your your ancestors, which I am. You know, the ancestors to the forty year olds, thirty year olds. To, you know what I mean. So, so mo so in most cases, all you can do is uh you know is sort of listen to us if you choose to. It's free will, and see how you can survive all of this and 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 um at the same time develop yourself okay it's going to be so important to do so because of the uh the damage to the climate you know the the, the, the massive catastrophes are waiting to happen to the climate due to cause and effect neglect complacency and such uh indoctrination deception intentional 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 you know the encasement of negative negative energy so as i um you know, am approaching a certain, you know, is because the reason I want, the reason I got up and I decided to go ahead and do this, yeah, this video is because, you know, I, um, I got my answers to a whole lot of things 
that were that started to happen to me in 2022 I got my answer um, now whether some will come forward and 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 and, and tell me what I want to hear or what I want to know that yeah, that's doubtful I don't because like I said I'm not holding grudges or you know, seeking re revenge and retaliation you know hey I was just you know I was I got myself in it you know I I put myself in it and so you know hey when you <laughs> as they say when you put your foot in the in, in the water guess what you know you, you never know what you're going to be stepping on and that's that's the whole idea you know um it can be you know the, the metaphor is you can stick your foot in stick your foot in 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 some water and believe that it's safe to do so and then you br and you bring your your foot out of there and it's infected with bacteria you know that's that literal thing that can happen to you you know when you decide to go into a certain arena of um of um uncertainty because it was uncertainty uh in 2022 when i decided to, to 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 you know put out some videos and you know share my narrative about certain experiences i've had and my attempts i'm just being honest was to help you know to help people and do my make my impact make my impact known okay yes I, and you know i um am well aware of my responsibilities and accountabilities to monitoring myself meaning to uh, monitor my skills and abilities monitor my behaviors and actions you know monitor my thoughts and we all um, my ego had not been managed when I started doing the, the videos in the first place, you know, joining certain groups, being on certain discussion boards, you know, my ego is still in play, honey. Um, and because it actually started in 2007. Okay. 2007 was, a, you know, again, I was in an apartment with little to no furniture. You know, I couldn't afford a television at the time. All I had was my internet. And and I was just doing a whole lot of research, a whole lot of research, a whole lot of research. You know, just just attempting to figure out what's going on and this and that and the other. You know, I was pissed off because <laughs> I, you know, because I, I was addicted to uh, reality TV. You know, I said that. And I, you know, and I, that I look forward to coming home from a, the stressful, stressful, toxic environment of, of a first responder just to vegetate into reality tv as they as it was called but it was actually unrealistic unreality <laughs> you know it, you know it was it didn't really exist and the people that were participating in these so-called quote-unquote reality shows um you know unless you were extremely naive which you probably were you know you know that those were stripped it they were not reality at all they were all staged and pre-programmed quote unquote they weren't really it was just entertainment okay it was just entertainment and I was entertained and then you know and indoctrinated at the same time you know what I mean <laughs> and kind of you know naive myself but you know it was a new arena that people were stepping their foot in and you know and causing a stir so to speak a causing a wave that they were unable to to handle the blowback you know that you know um you know, you know. In other words, we we just couldn't handle what we were putting out in 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 our entertainment, in our realities, whatever it is. You know, we created a tsunami, actually, literally, figuratively, and metaphorically. We put out something we didn't think it would matter, and then it came back as a tsunami, earthquake, flooding, fires. Okay. So, I told you we all are being used. We're all pawns in this um, fabricated thing called life, manufactured thing called life. And because of the because of how we were raised and how we were developed. If you were developed in a in a proper environment as an adolescent, as a young person, then you you withstand this. You'll be able to you know get through it. 
you and possibly save yourself for the un upcoming events. And I also said, um, there's probably millions of us, maybe billions of us, okay, in in the midst of over ten, almost over ten billion of us. You know, there's always survivors, and we all, you know, we always know that there's always survivors in the midst of chaos and devastation and catastrophes. Unless the whole, unless the, unless the planet itself is destroyed, you know, this whole, this 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 sphere, this sphere of Earth, you know. And eventually, at some some point in the distant future, that is going to happen. Planet Earth is going to be completely destroyed. Okay, so. So, uh, you know, in my last video, I talked about, you know, how, um, how I developed myself and how I understood the act of love. And... Um, I know what it means. You know, I, I asked that, I was asking that question for so many decades. You know, what is love? You know, we, we, we put it in songs, we put it in poems, we put it in books, we put it in movies. You know, what is love? You know, what is love? And a lot of, a lot of us associate it only with the physical, you know, the physical part of it, the intimacy between two partners and, or the love of this or the love of that. And it goes way, way, way deeper than that. Uh, I, and I hope, I, I, I know certain people throughout the planet know that it's, it's a spiritual love. You know, it's spiritual. It's something that's un, undescribable. You know, you, you know, it's hard to describe it. But I know the beauty of it because I can feel it in my whole being. You know, I feel it in my whole being. And so I know what love is. And I know what the physical, I know the physicalness of love, the intimacy of love as well, you know, and it's unshakable, you know, you, I mean, you can't, you can't tell me that I, you know, if I say I love, I am in the act of, if I say I love something, I love something, okay, if I say that to a person, um, yeah, it's love. And it doesn't, it's unshakable, you can't change it, <laughs> you know, it, but it doesn't mean that, but it doesn't mean a goddamn thing. You know, it really doesn't mean anything on on the on the part of you. You know, it's in me. It's part of me, and that's and that's this is where it's going to stay. That's why I asked. You know, where where did the joy and enthusiasm go? You know, we really, really, really just need to question ourselves about you know what 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 we're saying to each other, what we're expecting, and. And, and not allow our emotions to get so so fluctuated in in these events of manipulation and deception. We get we keep getting ourselves affected by that stuff, and it's it's, it's causing so much um, turmoil, you know, in in the psyche. You know, it's it's it's, it's like, you know, it's 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 intentionally, and um, you know, eroding your sense of what really matters you know it's eroding that and that's why people are being so accepting and opening of you know having autonomous lifestyles let's look that up make sure oh let's let let's make sure we we're on the same page here you know, autonomous, meaning, you know, we are accepting of the fact that, you know, that artificial intelligence, toys, you know, the automation of that kind of stuff, they say it's, it's considered lifeless, okay, lifeless. We are robots or a machine. We are replacing that with the um, interaction with human beings and the truth, you know, human beings, human physical bodies. Of people because of the the, the uh, devastation and um, degeneracy of interpersonal relationships you know a lot of people are really 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 and I can sense it so um, so uh, so depressed I, I guess I can say depressed um, despondent depressed melancholy about um, you know this 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 poor inner inner interpersonal relationships that we're experiencing you know uh depression you know all of us have a different level of depression you know mood dis mood disorders bipolar disorders 
you know, it, it, it's, 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 it's massive. And the thing is, is that so many people are attempting to put it all in a box and, oh, uh, yeah, yeah. And, and, and then cause more confusion on top of confusion, you know, and, and that's not going to change anytime soon. So we, so a lot of people believe that, okay, well, let me just have a robot. You know, that's going to satisfy their needs. And, you know, it, it possibly will based on your um, expectations of it. But it will not evolve your consciousness. And that's, that's, that is your responsibility. Okay, so. Some people are, going, some people are saying that they're going to remain alone. Or not be in a relationship with someone. Or not be in a cop partnership. You know, a lot of people, I've heard a lot of people say, I'm not looking for anybody. You know. You know, they don't, they're not looking for a closeness and a partnership and an intimacy. They're not, they, they, you know, they're not looking. And that's understandable too as well. You know, I know some people, you know, my gosh, you know, they, they have the, um, the data <laughs> and it, and that kind of bothers me. They have the data on everybody all over the planet. Some people have the data on all of that, who we are, what we are, you know, they know our name they know our date of birth, they know our social security, they know where we live, they know how we vote, we, they know what's in our banking accounts, they know the type of material things we have, you know, everything is known to certain people, you know, it's mostly groups of people, you know, in the federal, that federal government, whatever that is, and whatever that means, hidden hands especially, you know, they know every, you know, they know our blood type, everything, they know our DNA, they have our DNA, I should say. But then some people have all of that data in the midst of their uh, reach. But they're still lonely. Is you know they're they're so lonely, and they did. And they thought, okay, if they had the had the um, the dominance over a certain amount of data, that would make it easier for them to find. The person that they are supposed to be with, uh, to find this or find that, you know, they thought it would find their, they could find their happiness there, you know, they can find their, um, you know, you know, find their happiness. I guess is the is more so what I think you know most people were hoping for, you know, find their, um, you know, find the love of their lives, whatever, whatever, whatever they were seeking whatever they're hoping to seek and you know having the surveillance cameras everywhere monitoring everything we do monitoring everything we eat monitoring everything we drink monitoring everywhere we go mon some people have that as that 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 uh, ability to assess that kind of information you know and during this uh you know and especially during an election time you know, people know where I, you know, people will know where I live. Okay. You know, so, so thankfully this is a temporary situation for me. Right. But then, so what people can still find me. If somebody wants to find me, they're going to find me. You know, and, and the thing is, is I'm not trying to hide anyway. <laughs> I'm not hiding from nothing. I don't have any secrets. And I think that's, you know, that's the sadness of it all. We miss opportunities and we target the wrong people. You know, we are paying attention to the wrong conversations. You know, we're listening in, uh, you know, looking into uh, into the bedrooms of people. That's that's where most of it is. You know, we're in people's bedrooms. You know, because a lot of you out there that are participating in that type of activity, no one's in your bedroom. Okay, no one wants to be intimate with you. Nobody wants to go out with you. And so that's creating a lot of rage in so many people. You know, it's causing more degeneracy than ever. It's dangerous. And I know that I know for a fact that a lot of biological men hate women. They hate biological women. There's millions, maybe billions of biological men who hate biological women, but yet they pursue them like pray because they want to what and it's usually 
in a form of a sexual violence, you know, sexual violence. And the women, you know, we, like I said, we have this, this also this criminal energy. It's all criminal energy, but the women have the criminal energy where they know how to work those hips, honey, how to bat those eyes, right? You know, how to, you know, put that, put that breast, put them breasts in people's face, you know, twerk that whatever, you know, twerk their asses all over the place, shaking their ass all over the place, you know? And like I said, I, I am a biological female, but I am a, a, a lesbian and my preference is a feminine energy of another woman, preferably, you know, a woman that would want to be with another woman, you know, but I've been manipulated. I've been, in, you know, taken advantage of. I have been on the verge of having my life taken as well, you know, losing my life in, in some of these these criminal energy games that women play. Women play that. And the women have this uh, acuteness of jealousy and envy, which is, which is just as dangerous as the degeneracy and the sexual violence that biological men have. And I told you, and a lot of people are not going to accept this as well, um, those that are calling themselves transgender females are nothing more, nothing less than feminine biological women and whether you accept that or not I, I i i cannot control that but i hope that it 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 can you know calm you down some somewhat and, and get you get you understanding what's really going on what's the dynamics of what you are attempting to identify yourself as and I also said that people are, who are den identifying themselves as non-binary sounds like self-hatred to me. It sounds like self-hatred. So, this past election really opened up my eyes. It really, I mean, I mean, I'm 60 years, almost 60 years old, and it really opened up my eyes as to what happened to all of us and how all of us are in severe danger. And that there was never ever an actual democracy. Okay, that that is just that was just thrown up as that the our our sense of democracy is a myth, and it's a fallacy as well. And it is not so much about right versus left, white versus black, man versus woman. It's about the perpetual spin of insanity to believe in something that never existed. Democracy as we know it never existed. It's talked about, we've never lived in a democracy any more than we've never lived in peace. Never, since the inception. So, this election, you know, I mean, like I said, it started in 2022 and, um, you know, I, uh, I I did what I thought I was supposed to do is to wait and awaken people to saving our democracy, not realizing we never had one. Okay. Um, and I also opened that series of videos up with, uh, you know, how we consider theories and opinion as knowledge. And theories and opinions don't mean a goddamn thing. Theories and opinions open up the possibilities of discussion and conversations. So it's a it's a development process to know what the knowledge of it is, or what the true meaning of it is, or as tr as truthful as it can be. But theories and opinions on its own mean not a goddamn thing, and so that's what a lot of people were promoting. And as well with conspiracy theories. Conspiracy theories don't mean a goddamn thing. But conspiracy theories will buy time. And what I mean by buy time, conspiracy theories, they get themselves revved up. And before you know it, everybody is releasing a book. Talking about these theories and, and, and these conspiracy theories. Conspiracy theories are profit-driven only. They are not looking for the truth. 
they're buying time so that these so that these people, whoever they are, whoever's participating, can release their books, release their material, and they just keep it going and it go. And then they know at some point, a lot of people are going to become ineffective. They're gonna, I mean, they're gonna be ineffective. But what's going to happen, sadly, you know, ineffective because of they are because they they're aging. You know, once you get to an advanced age, you're not going to be concerned about conspiracy theories. Right? I mean, okay, are you? But what's going to happen is, though, it's not, you know, it's going to be the atrophy of thinking, which is going to be the uh, cat, the, the, the catalyst, I guess, and the catastrophes and, and devastation waiting to happen. The atrophy of thinking. Meaning people have, are going to be losing their uh, their brain cells earlier than ever, and they're going to create a self, self-created dementia, okay, self-created man-made dementia, and then you know what happens with dementia, right? I, the way I have been taught and based on my research and how I, you know, and my research involved thinking, changing my thinking modes and bringing in logic, rational and reasonable thinking, as I understand it. Not taking things at face value because, you know, we were told certain things. And I say we, you know, there was a group I was involved with, you know. You know, there were certain things said in those groups. There are certain materials that I read that, you know, kind of forecast things, predict things, had uh, had uh, uh, had prophecies of things that were happening, were, that were going to happen. And it was based on math, based on um, uh, energy, you know, based on, you know, simple components of, thinking per se and how you had to use all of your sensing which you can in, include abstract subjective objective and you know you can have a sprinkle of theory uh, the, uh conspiracy theories or theories and opinions it's a, it's a full range of thinking is what it is a full range of thinking and i told you i understand the consciousness i understand the consciousness and i know what it means to evolve it and why it's necessary so, but again, this election season, okay. We, like I said, we were told certain things, of, I don't know, a few years back or whatever. And I didn't take it at face value. I, I, you, know, I, I, you know, I didn't take it at face value, but I did do some research. I meditated on it. I, I, I did everything I can, could, I should, should say, that to, to um, consider the results, consider the benefits, and consider, um, you know, the, the action and behaviors of others, you know, what are they saying to me, you know, versus what I'm hearing, you know, versus what I see. And, and now, you know, uh, I realize uh, all of us, you know, even the ones, like I said, even the puppets were puppets. And even the handlers of the puppets were puppets. Some people are being used and targeted to destroy humanity, but they believe, you know, that they are geniuses, you know, that they are innovators, they're, you know, that they know it all, you know. And it's so obvious that um, some people uh, are operating at the bottom of intelligence, at the bottom of it. And they're not even touch, touching the surface of what it means to be intelligent. They, they figure, okay, I got a billion dollar fortune, I have a million dollar fortune, you know, I'm pedigree, nepotism, favoritism, you know, um, my background, my race, my sex, my preference of sex, you know, more so material, you know, the 10 cars I have, the 10 houses I have, you know, all of that, they, they figure, okay, that means, that, that means something, you know, but a lot of people, thankfully, are understanding that it means not a goddamn thing. And I'm telling you, that's why I say, you, do, you know, um, it's, you know, and, and, the, and again, for somebody to tell you that you have time, you know, I'm going to keep saying that, you know, that all they're doing is playing with you, playing games with you. You know, when something's over, when, when the past is over, the past is over. It's now. It, the past is gone. We're not changing the results of the past. It's gone. 
the opportunities are gone and were missed. So now we just have to deal with, okay, what kind of opportunities I have right now? What kind of opportunities I have right now to help to make it more certain later? Right now it's uncertain, but you can make it. You can be present and know what you're up against to make it more certain in the future. Make it more certain tomorrow. Make it more certain a year from now. Make it more certain by 2029. So this this election, election taught me a lot about... Um, Oh wow! I went. I didn't mean to go too far on this. On this, but and uh, you know, I probably have to put up a couple more. But this election has taught me so much about uh, how 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 more how we are more indoctrinated than I thought we were, and we are more um, uh, marching into catastrophe more than than I than I realized. And a lot of people are going to be losing their abilities to think properly. You know, like I said, some of you are not going to make it to 50 years old, especially you, the young ones. You're not going to make it to 50 years old uh, because of uh, the lack of development, you know, that you're under development. So you're not, you don't have the proper nutrients to even have the strength, especially you 20 year olds. You're not going to have the proper amount of nutrients or the strength to make it to 50 years old if you don't snap out of it right now. So I'm going to say more about this. I'm going to make this video four and um, I'm going to stop it right there. I don't want to take, take, take it in too much. I'm just want to give you the breadcrumbs of, you know, of the reality of our situation as best I understand it and do the best I can to help, okay, to heal this planet to save this planet and what I mean by save this planet heal this planet I'm talking about the human beings on it because mother nature is gonna um, do what mother nature does to save the planet and I told you this planet does not need human beings to survive it does not so I'm gonna go ahead and send peace and love right now but trust me I will be back.